Hey Jody F here, I'm gonna show you how to use Minerva, but the new one. It's a web app, so you can use it on any but anything that basically has internet and you can have a web browser with it. So it's a web app, so you don't need to install it. But anyways, it's it used to be written for uh, Adobe Air, which you could have it as a desktop application, but now since it's a web app, basically you don't need the web uh, to uh, install it anymore. But anyways, Adobe Air, just as a on the side note, is that it was cross-platform anyways but so anyways it's been ported to a web app so basically to start to use Minerva we're gonna use we're gonna have to go to apps.coursevector.com slash Minerva anyways this link is gonna be in the description so you can click that right ahead and I'm gonna show you how to use it basically but we're gonna use the example is gonna be uh, the game here it's a flash game and we want to edit the, the save file and this game is actually it's uh, the last stand um, and the bug that I showed in another video, you can click the link in the corner, is that um, you can have unlimited items. So basically, I'm just going to do this, and you're going to learn how to use Minerva at the same time. So uh, the basics. So uh, basically, what I do first is I'm going to go in here, get something that I I don't really care about, like that you can just scrap, because we're going to change this item into a another item that's going to bug the game to have unlimited. Uh, space or storage. So we're gonna take this thing here. Uh, I'm just gonna use book, okay? And I got some other stuff in the edit container here that what basically I don't need. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save and quit the game. So I'm gonna close this, right? And then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go ahead here and try to find where the file saves. So you see this is where it tells you I'm on Windows 7, it knows that. And just copy this just in case. We're gonna browse to that location to get the flash files that we want to edit so paste what you just copy from the window to open uh, okay it says it didn't work it's because the application data you have to remove that it's supposed, it's supposed to be just percent app data percent and then dash micromedia dash flash player dot com uh, dash flash player so you're gonna open that go to shared objects first folder the newest one the most recent one. If you have other ones, just forget about the old ones. Use the 2015, the earliest one, so the newest one. So now we're gonna find where the game is hosted. So if you have it on under Armor Games, you're gonna click Armor Games. So like here, I have a Congregate, stuff like that. I have it on local host because it's mine. Mine's a modified version. Anyways, so we're gonna basically you're just gonna try to find your TLS version. Anyways, this is what you're gonna find is the last stand union whatever like that. This is the one you want. So you're gonna open that and this is your save file. Anyways, I showed that in the other video. But the goal of the video here is just to show you how to use Minerva the web app version. So once you've opened the file, you have this here. Just like the old desktop app. The same the the only difference is just to look in some few changes and now uh, because this is Minerva 4.0 the desktop app was the 3.0 series and before that also so we're using the 4.0 here and what we want to do here is basically find the item that we wanted to edit so this is basically how to use Minerva the web app version so uh, the item what we want is under actually is here somewhere uh, there's a search right so I'm gonna search for uh, uh, inventory right inventory there we go so basically we have this here and this is basically oh but this is not the bag we want the bag we don't have an inventory yet I haven't unlocked it in the game so what we want to find is the player here this is inventory oh, I guess it was correct okay so basically here let's see inventory let's see here reference should tell us okay woodboard so that's the thing I would have it equipped as a weapon, but we're gonna find the book that we want to use because the book we don't care about that we can sacrifice that for an item that will glitch the game to give you unlimited space. So let's see here. Water. Okay, those are all stuff that I, I would want to keep. But basically what you want to do is that you want to find an item that you don't want, like placement. We don't need that. But uh, just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna take specifically book so book is the one that I have I only have one book and this is the only one that I want to modify so basically this is object number 10 so what you want to do is take this one as the one that says ref book that means the item is a book you're gonna have to click on EQD which means equipped now it's not it's set on on so you want to set it to off because you don't want it equipped because it's gonna bug the game pretty bad so now this um, 
it's you're just gonna put minus one. Right? You can put something else, but it works with minus one, so just put minus one. Ref, you're gonna put blob or whatever. I put blob. Put blob. Um, slot. Uh, leave it to write none. Okay. And then here junk. Uh, you could leave it as junk if you want to. Uh, I don't think that changes anything. In the original video, I changed it, but you know. So type. You're gonna write blob also. And basically change everything to blob. Yeah, blob. Well, like that. Slot, leave it, write it none. Ref, blob. ID, minus one, EQD, which is equipped off. Right? So once you have that, you're going to hit save. So it's going to save. Okay, now the file is saved. It's going to ask you to download it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this file and basically overwrite the one I already have. So I'm going to save it to my desktop here. Now it's that it's on my desktop. Okay. Basically, I'm going to go to that shared folder that I have and go to where my original file is. So this is the file that we modified is here. This is the save file we just, we just modified. So I'm just going to call it, rename it to backup version. So BKB like that. Okay. So this is my backup. This is the modified version. I'm just going to drag that in. So now it's there. So what we're going to do is we're going to relaunch the game and basically we'll have the, uh, the game modified with what we just did. We changed the book into a file called blob or item called blob and that is going to give you the glitch to have unlimited space storage so let's let the game load here all right continue to load the game and now that we're in the game let's gonna check our bag here you should have an item called blob uh, I don't see it here but you can notice right away here it says NAN over 180 pounds so basically my character can carry 180 pounds which is a lot really but still so our item called blob is not here and I think I know why because I changed the type from junk to blob so it doesn't show up as the categories here it just doesn't show up it doesn't register but the item still exists in your character so this is even better than the original because the original it showed the items and you had to not delete it but now you can't even delete it so it's stuck in the game and you're stuck with unlimited space storage so basically you can still move and carry unlimited stuff because the counter won't go up because it stays at NAN so basically I just picked up more stuff and I'm fine no problem let's look at the character here everything's the same so basically you save and quit right so I'm going to close the game again reload it to see if the game didn't rec correct the error let's see how that so we're going to reload the game and we'll see the, the change here so let's see Alright, so while the game loads, so I'm going to show you here other stuff that you can do. So we're going to close the file here, and this is the main screen that you have, right? So the new feature that's really cool is that you can create from scratch a file, um, which is, this is new. You couldn't do it before, but anyways, that's really cool. So you can create stuff. Basically, you could create your own .sol files. But anyways, that's if you're going to do some flash development and stuff like that. Course Vector Minerva is a great tool for that. Import is another feature where you can import JSON files as a uh, JSON object files into sol or dot sol objects files, but that's if you develop flash files. Well, anyways, um, basically you can save your data as JSON and then import it into Flash like that if you want. But there's probably other methods also. So I'm just this is just a little quick demo to show you here. You see we are at 4.1.1 and then that's the date basically. But anyways, this is a four point the f release 4 so this is since where it became a web app so basically you can use it on your Chrome computers or even probably Linux also that's for flash games though so yeah basically you can use it on any OS that has a web browser and that basically can load this web app without any issue so let's see the game here we're gonna go back continue and click here and let's see here, here. our bag we still have the item there and my character can still move so the glitch works perfectly so this was just a quick demo to show that and also to show you Minerva as a web app where it's no longer a desktop app so I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you a lot like and subscribe if you have any requests please tell me so and I'll do my best to to do that alright see you later